What is going on my dudes? Tyster here back again with another Genshin Impact video. And if you guys like the content, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. And as always, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about today's video. Now today, uh, we are going to be talking about why Genshin Impact is dry. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because people are going, but Tystra, there's really nothing to do in Genshin Impact besides the Vibro Crystal event. And to those people, I say you are absolutely correct, because I can't lie, it's it's what it is. It, we are in a dry spell right now. And there was a multitude of things that we talked about prior to this week to kind of talk about it, uh, especially when it came to the whole um, delay in version 2.7. Now, normally if there's a delay in a game, it doesn't really hurt the game that much. However... The problem right now that we're seeing in Genshin Impact is more than just a delay. Uh, if you guys have been playing through the whole version 2.6 update, we've been seeing that these events have not exactly been up to par, at least in my personal opinion. And I think that a lot of people would actually agree. I've talked to a multitude of Genshin Impact uh, players, including uh, other content creators. And from what it just seems like, it seems like this patch with 2.6 was just one of those things where they were just like yeah we're gonna throw a whole bunch of events but these events aren't gonna be entirely fun now the only one that i would say that was even remotely fun but it was only one part of that event was the iridori festival and that was the story i thought the story was actually pretty cool the problem is is that if your story is great but the overall event is trash it's going to be labeled as trash and i hate to say this uh hoyoverse but the event was trash. Like, let's get, let's compare to the Lantern Rite festivals that we've had and the Summer Festival we had with Klee in the sense and the Windbloom festivals. Honestly, I had a lot more fun. This Iridori festival, which was really, like, cool to think about, but the, the overall output of it or the release was just, ugh, it, it wasn't great. And that doesn't help when it comes to the dryness of the game right now. A lot of players are seeming to back away from Genshin, especially now that we have competition. And this is another topic I talked about before, where we have games like Tower of Fantasies coming out. We have, um, you know, MiHoYo's newest game, like being talked about with Honkai Star Rail. So it, MiHoYo, Hoyo versus new game Honkai Star Rail. Um... We got, you know, Seven Deadly Sins Origin. We got Blue Protocol that is still, like, ah, that one's in limbo, but we all know about it. You know, and there's plenty of other games out there as well that a lot of content creators are enjoying. Like, we've seen a bunch of content creators play a whole bunch of Elden Ring, which makes sense because it's one of the best games out there. You know, the Soulsy type games have always been fantastic. There's no denying that. Um, and that, I think, is the thing that I wish that... Hoyoverse understood is that look at what's going on around you and understanding that your competition is growing consistently. Getchen Impact is the highest grossing gotcha game this year. And honestly, there's no denying that fact. It's there. It was the highest grossing gotcha game from what I saw uh, the year previous to in 2021. So right now as it stands gotcha wise it's perfect but i think it's mainly because there's no competition for it so right now hoyo verse is kind of getting lazy in my personal opinion and maybe that's not and well i wouldn't even say lazy i think it's more so complacent in some cases now granted again as we talked about last week they are dealing with COVID right now in China. It's actually a new strand. So I don't blame them for that. Like when it comes to 2.7 stuff, completely understand. What I'm talking about is 2.6. So I don't want anybody to get it twisted. 2.6 came out before this whole COVID thing came out over in China at the moment. So understand this is not me bashing on them right now because of, you know, what's going on with 2.7. I understand. 2.7's development is delayed because of the COVID stuff. That makes perfect sense, and I completely understand. When it comes to 2.6, though, this whole version has just been abysmal. And, and I hate to say it that way, but it's the truth. It's abysmal. 
Except for Hayato. Hayato has been amazing. Um, and it, it, it I, I just wish that Hoyoverse would start to take the competition seriously. Because while yes, they 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 sent out a cease and desist order with Tower of Fantasy in some cases, Tower of Fantasy is not going to stop. All they're going to do is redo the things that they need to do to get rid of some of the assets that looked copied, and they'll release the game. And honestly, right now it looks like it might be a lot of fun. There's a couple bugs with it, of course, but that's why it still hasn't come to America or the you know rest of the globe. Um, with Seven Deadly Sins Origins, it looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. Um, I'm not a Seven Deadly Sins guy, but I'm going to play that game because it looks freaking sick, especially since, you know, it's an anime IP and there's a lot of possibilities. We could think of it this way with Genshin Impact. I make, I make the series, the crossover series, right? Isn't it funny that we're getting a Seven Deadly Sins version of Genshin Impact that could potentially bring in, you know... That time I got reincarnated as a slime, ReZero, and other collabs because of the fact that, you know, they're actually, like, doing crossovers in Grand Cross. Isn't it kind of crazy that they're even doing that? Like, that's going to be huge. That's going to be big for the gameplay style, you know, lovers for Genshin Impact. Because with Seven Deadly Sins Origins, you're going to get those crossovers. Absolutely. Blue Protocol, again... Is kind of in limbo but it had a lot of hype when it was first announced and it's still going strong like there's still good things about it if you go on their twitter very dry in my personal opinion but blue protocol still there and not only that but even hoyoverse has put out the things for honkai impact star rail and star rail looks like it's going to be a lot of fun it definitely looks like it's going to be a lot of fun i can't say anything just yet because of ndas um but yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of freaking fun, guys. And I urge you guys to really, like, take this time since Genshin Impact is dry to do research on these other games and find one that is like, okay, when Genshin Impact's dry, let me play this one. That's what I'm going to be doing. Of course, for me, I'm going to be doing basically all those because I'm a freaking masochist and I can't not play one of those games. Um... Because I want to try them out. I want to understand like why it's so good, why is it big, and why should I play it. But I strongly encourage all of you guys to do the same, especially now, like I said, Genshin Impact is dry. For the meantime, Hoyoverse, here is my plea to you. I really, really hope that after this whole COVID thing gets figured out, in 2.7 is, you know, out of the way. Because I, I'm going to tell you guys this now, 2.7 may not be as hype and that's what's going to be sad um but when 2.7 is finished and we go to 2.8 i strongly encourage mihoyo to really really think about the competition and what mihoyo can do or hoyoverse can do to really make it so that genshin impact is still the number one gotcha game going into 2023 i'm just saying there's plenty of competition, and you never know what could happen. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Do you guys think that, you know, Genshin Impact right now is super dry, or do you think I'm crazy? Let me know in the comments below also what you guys thought about the video in general. Um, like I said, guys, we're going to be releasing videos all week this week. We got two more videos that I'm going to be recording, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. As always, guys, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. We will be back again with the next video, and as always, thank you so much. Love you guys to death, and we will catch you guys in the next video.